What's that? Sorry. I'm just working oh. out in my head. That's the Q. And it has to be two, two, yeah. horizon, two vanishing points. Oh, on this, there will be two vanishing points. Yeah. I and mean, you can draw the vanishing points in. Or, oh, now look, there's another building over this side. This might be a little bit more. Right, look at, in fact, look at the wall. The wall, the top of the wall slopes downwards because it's above our eye level. So that's got to come down something like that. All right, and this is the bottom of the wall. So this is our wall. And that building on the left, from there to there, is a straight line. Look, it's done exactly the same thing. See what I've done there? From there to there, no roof. We can't see the roof, right? And that corner there, which actually is just slightly off the, off the back, that corner must be lower than that corner. It must be. It must be because we can see that wall there. The only time that corner and that corner would be exactly the same height would, would be if we were stood around here, looking directly at it. Okay. Finally, one just we've got one more building to put in, and that's the easiest of the lot because uh, actually we've just got a little. There's a little, um, a little bit of green grass here, a little grassy knoll. All right. Let's put the little grassy knoll in. You want to put a little lone gunman in there. You can do. <laughs> All right. There. Let's set that down there. I thought you were too young for that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Little grassy knoll. There's our building. And we can see the end of that other barn. We can see it there. By the way, notice how these are cut. Look how thin. That is because it's because we're looking along it. It's very, it's foreshortened. We need to really tighten that. Up. Don't make that too long. We'll make this building too long. Otherwise, it'll look like a really long building. Um, this building here, because we can see the end of it, actually, that must be sloping downwards. They must also be sloping downwards. So it looks something like that. Yeah. Like that, and so all we need to do. Do you know what? Painting this up is an absolute doddle. All right. Do you want to draw it? Do you want to draw it first, or do you want me to just paint it for you? No, we'll have a cup of tea, maybe. Do you want a cup of tea? Yeah. And then we draw. Yeah. Quick lie down in the darkened room. Yeah. No, I do not. You know, I'm, I'm just a question. Yeah. Could it help if this side, um, if, if, if we do the, the vanishing line? You can do, yeah. I mean, the vanishing point of that would be there. It would be a different place. It doesn't necessarily share the same one as that building. That's a great rubber. I love that rubber. Especially what's written on it. I like that best. I love mistakes. Continues. Back lighting. Night portrait. Oh my God. Night lighting. Night straightforward if you manage to draw a, any major problems out I mean a few yes. a few little niggly issues but and I think 
I'm hoping that uh, that the um, that it's going to um, all come back to you at the right moment in in time. <laughs> Sorry, I'm fine. I'm really distracted now. <laughs> all right. Okay. <laughs> so I want to pull faces at it. I know. Okay, I do not want to see this entire workshop on YouTube. All right. Lots of editing, Keith. There'll be lots of editing. Yeah, lots of editing. I don't mind snippets. All right, here we go. So uh, this is once you've drawn it out. This is a drawing exercise. So if you've taken the if you take the time for drawing it out, then you know all, everything. Uh, uh, everything is. It should be in place. This is a pretty straightforward painting to paint. Uh, I'm going to wet this area here, and I'm going to put a wetting wet wash into the background using Prussian blue, cadmium yellow. Oh yes, those two colours again. So I'm wetting it, right? See so if you if you look at the picture, if you look at the image on the notes, you'll see that it is just a wet and wet wash. Uh, a little bit mucky, also a little bit mucky, but I think we can live with that. Right, so I'm just wetting the paper. Actually, if you look in the uh, on the sky on the notes, you'll see that I've used two blues. I used the Prussian blue and French ultramarine because they go together rather nicely. Uh, so if I just get some, I'll, I'll start with the Prussian blue. Oh, that looks a bit off colour. Maybe. I'm just going to throw this on here. This is create a nice loose wet in wet wash. Do some sort of uh, reasonably interesting with it. Okay. So this is just Prussian blue. It's a nice loose wet in wet wash remember. Move your board around and encourage it to uh, do its own thing. There we go. And then I'm going to get a little bit of French ultramarine. Because the two colours do go nicely together. So. There we go. Oh, strawberry. There we go. That'll do. Work it in. I don't want it to completely obliterate the, uh, the Prussian blue. Just mix nicely in together and say, so, you know, encourage it to flow in different directions. Now, so what? Because it's a wet and wet wash, what I'm going to do here is just watch out for the uh, watch out for the little blobs. I'm going to take some cadmium yellow and just drop it into the wash. Quite strong, yeah. Uh, there we go. Maybe not quite as strong as that. Mm. Water that out a little bit. That'll do. And just do something nice and loose and vaguely tree like. There we go. Loose and vaguely tree like. Like that. Okay. Do the same thing over here. Again, just keeping it simple. I mean, there's no, you know, it's uh, it, obviously I want it to kind of resemble trees as much as possible. Just scratching around for a bit of tissue here. There we go. Keep tidying that up a little bit. And again, I can come right the way down here. Oops. And 
and use it to help to kind of define the edge of the the bottom as well. Oh, that's dry now, so we'll just. There we go. Oh, this side as well. Why not? Let's have some trees down there. Like that. Okay. Well, we're going to do summer trees properly. This area here, for some reason, has been a little bit awkward. As you find, once you get a blob dripping down a particular place, it's quite More persistent. Of it's quite persistent. I just tidy that up as best I can. I give this a quick blast with the hair dryer, but you, you kind of hopefully get the idea. Like so, all right. Relatively straight. Oh, actually, what we can do while it's still while it, while we've got that colour, those colours kicking around, add the blue to the yellow a little bit. A nice sort of yellowy, nice fresh yellowy green. We can paint our little grassy knoll, and we've got the grass verges as well. We need to put it the, put it on the grass verges. So. Is there, I've got this one here. Like so. Okay. It's still being a little bit persistent. So, let's lift that out. I'm going to give this a quick blast with the air dryer. And all I need to do now is mix up uh, some of that grey French ultramarine, burnt umber. So we have a little bit of, uh, we'll mix up the ultramarine first. And then just add the burnt umber to it. Not too much. I'm after a blue-grey really. So that's the, the beauty of those two colours is that I can alter it either way. So as I say, if I get it exactly right, you end up with a neutral grey, a little bit like neutral tint. You want to buy it out of the tube. There you go. Add a little bit of burnt on the on. After this grey, that'll do me. And then we're painting all the shadows. So let's let's paint this in here. Just a weeny bit more ultramarine to it. Because if you look at the picture, you'll see that there aren't a huge amount of, uh, there's a large amount of details, detail on the actual buildings themselves. Very little in the way of details. Maybe a little shadow just underneath there. Uh, I can use that shadow colour, in fact, I can bring this right way down here. Let's extend it across the road. This this building here, I've also put into shadow uh, this wall. Now we can argue, you know, I'm happy to argue the toss over why that might be in shadow, but the fact is, I put it into shadow because I needed to. Um, you know, you could say, oh, where's the sun? There's all the shadows sort of falling, this, that, and the other. Um, as I say, it's. Uh, it, it suits my purpose to put it in shadow because then I've got dark against light. And okay, it and it kind of works. By the way, so the other thing we can do here, I mean, I think on the picture I've got a weird shadow coming in from another building, which sort of helps to uh, 
sort of do something with that sort of area there. Well, one thing we can do, we can just cast shadows right across the foreground. We can put shadows in from buildings or trees or whatever that we can't even see. Right? It just sort of yeah, it draws the eye in. Yeah. A little bit of dry brush there. And then when it hits the this side, the shadows tell us as much about the surface they're falling on, the object that's casting it. Uh, a bit of a stone wall here, we'll just sort of create something vaguely stone wall like. almost it's almost done a uh, couple of things really just finish this up and give it another blast the hair dryer Firstly, the roofs, or is it roofs? Uh, that's just burnt umber with a little bit of cadmium red thrown in. All right, just water it down a bit. So it's a warm kind of terracotta um, colour. And we can apply that to that roof there. Same to this roof here. As I say, if you look carefully at the, the picture, you'll see that there are very few uh, actual wall details. I mean, I'll, I'll apply just a few. All right, but that's uh, that pretty much wraps that up. Um, burnt umber. Ooh, that's rich. Bit of burnt umber for the. Uh, for the tyre tracks, which also, by the way, uh, obey the laws of perspective. So, muddy, a muddy tractor, uh, a muddy sort of tracks, tractor's been down here, maybe some boy racers, uh, maybe some of the... Do you know what would look nice in there? Sheep. Sheep. <laughs> No. no. <laughs> tomorrow. tomorrow. I'll put some sheep in tomorrow. The long window with the one brush. There. All right, I'm going to do that in a moment. Let's just uh, finish up just a little bit more, just down the side here, just to um, just edge this off. All right. Just rough it up a little bit. You get the gist anyway. Just a, there we go. Okay. The, as I say, the, the tire tracks kind of help to reinforce the, the depth within the, within the scene as well. Uh, but that's, that's that. Uh, the, the, what I would mix up with is just, if I just add some, oops, add some burnt, uh, sorry, French ultramarine to that burnt umber, to get my nice dark, rich tone. It's all I really need, actually, go for an even finer brush there. So those single brush marks, and right? I first of all a little bit of a dark tone under there, and just that's it. All, right? all we need. A doorway on that one. That's all we need. This here, actually, if you, I can, I mean, it is an interesting question. You know, do we want? You know, would you? Uh, would you put an have an overhang there? Uh, not sure. I'm undecided. I'm just going to soften that off a little bit. Right. Created a. Don't a think so. Actually. I don't think. I, I, no, I, I don't think so, actually, on this occasion. But maybe reinforce that area there. And also. See what, you're doing, see what you're doing now, softening it off. Uh, all I'm just softening yeah. it up. That's just damp. That's just a damp brush. I read in a textbook recently that's called a money line. A money line. Yeah. 
That's not quite matching up up there. Uh, one thing, as I say, the, the thing about the detail in the wall, there's nothing to stop me mixing up a little bit more grey. Maybe that area there maybe just wants a few little stones and things just to... Just to kind of tie it in a little bit with that and, and maybe deflect the eye away from the fact that I made a bit of a mess of the of not keeping within the pencil lines and then just soften that, soften that off again blend things in oh, that's dried quickly maybe I won't oh that dries really quickly oh you get the gist just add a few more, add a few little stones down here. Really quickly, soften that off, blend it in. There's a bit of a an odd gap there, I think that wants some little details in there. This side, it, but incidentally, just a that particular stone wall just, just requires a few little details in there, maybe just to finish it off, make it a little bit more stone wall like. Not too many details. Ta da! It's fabulous. Yeah. Yeah. It's amazing. It was mainly that wet and wet wash. Not quite sure what happened there. I don't think it matters too much. Um, yeah, it's really good. It but, could uh, be a, a, a cart with a horse. It could be a cart with a horse, yes. I can hear the sheep. I can hear the sheep. I can hear the sheep. It's lovely. 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 Actually, you know what I would do? Here's something, here's what I'm tempted to do with that. Just, just out of, just for the crack, really. To put a dark tone in it. Well, I could put figures in. Yeah, but I was, on the horizon. Oh, shall I put a, put a couple of figures in? I was going to, no, I was going to fill that in and put a dark tone in there and have dark trees behind there. But maybe, what do you think? I like it. the light. Because I, like I think the building is the focal point and you're just looking at the design. Okay, okay. I'll leave it as it is. Yeah. Yeah. If we wanted to put a, a couple of figures in, by the way, relatively, yeah. we're going to do this in the morning. I'm going to run some simple figures with you in the morning. Size what? Just All right. But just a couple of, um, let's just have... Two people. Oh, oh lovely. Yeah. Too lovely. Really lovely. Just drop 
a bit of an extra colour in it. That's so good. It hardly means anything. It's just lovely. That's lovely. Oh, yeah. Oh, isn't Yeah, it's fabulous. Yeah. Oh, fabulous. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Yeah, fantastic. fantastic. Yeah. We're gonna, I'm going to run through some simple figures tomorrow then. Mm -hmm. <laughs>